Hey guys, Gary here. Welcome to my channel, Just Talk. And today I want to show you on the UDM Pro how you can change the icons that are used to depict the devices that are connected to your network. So currently I, on, I am on version 6.2.25. So let's go ahead and click into that. And just to let you know, this is the newer um, dashboard that we're gonna be using. And I'll also show you how to use it on the older version uh, dashboard. But what I'm talking about is here in topologies, how these little icons right here <clears throat> are used to depict the device that is currently connected to your network, like the uh, G4 Pro, the Apple TV, um, the LG Web TV, um, and whatever other device you may have connected to your network. So what you need to do is go over here and click on the clients tab and find the device um, that currently does not have the icon that you would like it to be. So I have a couple here. I have two uh, HomePod minis um, that are not showing up. So in order to change them, all you have to do is click on it, come over here to where it says report wrong icon, click on that, and you can search it one of two ways. You could either type it in, HomePod, oops, HomePod, and I actually have the black ones. They only have the white one and the, um, the Apple HomePod uh, first version. So I'll just go ahead and select this one for now. And then you just hit submit, and there you go, it shows up. So if you go back over to your topology map, um, let's see, where is it? There it is, right there. I'll go ahead and blow this up for you so you can see it, so you don't think I'm lying, which I'm not, and there you go. It shows up. Now, what if the icon is not there? Well, what you can do, and here's another HomePod Mini, I'll go ahead and use this one, is just go ahead and click on it, and right down here where it says no image available, Go ahead and click on that. Type in the, the device type, which is a home uh, pod uh, mini. Manufacturer be Apple. And I'll just put home pod mini. And just hit the submit button, which goes off to the developers who hopefully in future releases will update those particular icons, which by the way, I just submitted it and forgot to say black, the version, uh, the color was black, but that's okay. Um, next, I have another one here. It's not depicting the uh, correct MacBook Pro. Uh, so let's go ahead and type that in. I actually have um, this particular version so let me go ahead and click on this one and hit submit. And that's basically how you do it. Now, if you choose the wrong icon, you can always go ahead and revert back to the default. But I have to tell you, Ubiquity uh, put some work into this because there are a lot of companies here. I mean, from A to Z. And again, if you can't find your icon for the device that's connected, uh, just submit a um, request to Ubiquity right down here. And hopefully in, the, in a future release, they'll have it uh, set up for you. So how do you do this in the older uh, version of the dashboard? Well, I'll show you real quick. So we'll just go ahead and change the interface. It's almost like a Jeopardy thing. Do, 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 do. So here you have your map, topology map. It's a little different as you can tell because if you highlight on it, it kind of shows you how traffic flows. Pretty cool. I like that animation and they took it out in the newer version, but that's okay. Um, so go ahead and click on your clients tab and we'll just go ahead and pick the Apple Watch, Amy's Apple's, Apple's wa Apple Watch. And down here where it says device fingerprint, Go ahead and click on that. And I had already changed it, but you can revert it. Um, 
So I'll just revert it. We'll go back in. We'll find Apple Watch. Oops. Apple Watch. And hopefully it'll pop up. Maybe, maybe not. No. Oh, there we go. It just took a minute. Oops. What in the world just happened there? That's not an Apple Watch. I can tell you that right now. Let's try that again. Apple Watch. There we go. And hers is the fifth uh, generation. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Click Submit. And there you have it. So that's how you change the icons um, for your devices that are connected to your network. So if you enjoyed the video or you got something out of it, please hit that like button. And again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon so I, you will be notified when I release new content. So on that note, I will see you on the next video. Peace.